everyone, it's Jake from Northern Tesla, back here with another installation and review. Today, we'll be installing and reviewing the EV tuning HEPA filters for Model 3 and Y. Now, what was interesting is I didn't get these off of EV tuning, I got these off of a, a different website. So maybe they have like a partnership or something, I don't know. So what I've heard about the installation and changing of the air filters in Model 3 and Y is that it's very, very complicated and it takes a lot of time and patience. So I'll be sure to show you all that, of course, all the panel removals and all the screw unscrewing and screwing back up or whatever the heck. But um, yeah, and after about a week of using these, I'm going to come back and I'm going to give you my final thoughts. All right, so let's get to installing these bad boys. So the things you will need are, of course, these filters. They come in a pair of two, because you need two. You'll also need a Torx 20 or T20 screwdriver or bit of some sort. And then lastly, you'll just need a light source. I have this ring light, thankfully. That gets pretty bright. All right, let's start. So obviously if you have a floor mat, you'll need to remove it. Because it gets in the way of the panels. All right, so as you can see, there's a few of these clips around here. So first things first, we'll need to pull those out. Okay, so in these little clips, there's little notches where you can put your, your nail and you just gotta pull them out like so. Sometimes they'll just come right out like this. So what I'm gonna do to keep them safe is just put them in my cup holder and oh, I didn't get this one. Here, last but not least, you have to get this clip up here. Okay, so now that the clips are pulled out, um, all we have to do is just grab some leverage and You know what, I'm going to pull all these out. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, that hurt a little. Because uh, my finger got a little squeezed there for a second. But as you can see, now this is out. And... Oh. It disconnected the light. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. But uh, as you see, there's also a speaker connected here. And so we will have to remove that. All right, here's the panel. Um, it's a bit different than Model 3 because there's uh, no extra hole or whatever to get your fingers in to pull it out, to pull out the panel. So uh, I decided to squeeze my fingers in for all the way to the back and sort of just rip it out like that. There's the top panel off and now we have to remove this side panel here. All right now to remove this panel we just have to get your fingers in up here at the top where there's a space and just pull it out. Some of these clips might require a bit more pulling and if you were, or if you uh, worry about breaking them, don't. They're a super easy fix, super cheap to replace. Now that we're inside the center console here, what I'll be looking for is so I've run into an obstacle. Um, it appears they redesigned 
the inside of this center console part for Model Y. So now I need to figure out where exactly my air filters go. <laughs> All right, so I discovered that it was this little piece that sort of stuck up on here that concealed the filters. So it's a pre it's pretty different than on Model 3. But it's also a lot easier because on Model 3, there's a screw all the way up here and it's the Torx 20. When in reality, or when in Model Y, it's really just one of these hexagonal shapes. And I was able to easily remove it with my drill. So just to pull out the filters, all you have to do is just grab this tab and just sort of yank it out there. So there's one, and then this one's sort of in a slot under there, and there's two. Make sure if you're changing just to another standard filter that the yellow part is out as well as the tab is facing to the footwell. Because if you, if you put it in the wrong way, then it'll not be good. Okay, so thankfully with these, they have a little tab just like the OEM ones. So all I have to do is just... Okay. All right. So these HEPA filters are a bit thicker than the OEM ones, so they'll be a little difficult to get in. But they do also come with these little tabs, so you're able to figure out what direction your filters go in. And then here's the second one. All right, so what I wanna do is I wanna get this tab to like stay down there so I can fit in the second one. Then this one should just slide in on top. And there you go, they're both in. All right, so you wanna do it this way out. And so all you really do, is you just slide it up there. And there it is in place. So I'm just gonna get this started with my hand there. All right, so I just drilled this screw back in and everything's right as rain. So now we just have to put the panels back in. So we'll first start with this body panel. All you have to really do is just squeeze it back into place like this and just start going ham on the clips with your fist, with your fingers, you know, really get in there. All right, I'll be honest. I don't know how well the camera can see this. What I'm gonna do first is reconnect the speaker and the light. I've got the panel back on. It was no easy task because the speaker did ju just did not want to reconnect. I had to fight it. But uh, I have my clips here. And now all I have to do, so what I have to do now is just put the clips back in one at a time. Make sure when you're reinstalling the clips, if both pieces come out, make sure it's extended like this before you put it in or else it just won't go. So shove that in as hard as I can. And there you go. Easy as that. All right, I'm gonna put these two other clips in and then 
I will be back for my final thoughts. All right, so I just got done installing the HEPA filters for Model 3 and Y. Um, it was a lot more complicated than I thought it would be simply because uh, the Model 3 center console layout is like completely different in the Model Y. So um, I was looking for bolts and screws in all the wrong places. I bought a Torx 20 or T20 screwdriver thinking I would need it to replace the filter since you need one for Model 3. But no, what I actually needed was just a hex bolt like this, um, or a hex, a hex bit. And all I, I don't really know anything about drills and stuff. All I know about this one is that it says DeWalt one quarter. So I don't know what that means in terms of sizing, but I'll, I'll look, I'll look for one of these online and then link it down below. Yeah, and the, the piece I had to unscrew is like completely upside down when compared to Model 3 as well, which is good because then uh, that screw isn't hidden like it is in Model 3. In Model 3, you have to really like get up inside this hidden sort of crevice sort of thing and then unscrew it. Um, but yeah, having it flipped around like that made it a lot easier for the install. Um, I just wish I knew that it... <laughs> that it uh, had a, a new screw in. But uh, yeah, and of course, here's just the OEM Tesla ones. Um, you can buy these on Amazon for like 25 US bucks and they're like, and that's like 10 bucks cheaper than at Tesla themselves. Um, but if, you if you're like me and you want the protection of a HEPA filter, then obviously I will link those down below too um mine are from ev tuning so i'm pretty sure they'll be really good but uh yeah like i said uh, i'll be back in a week just to give my final final review on how they perform and all that so with the regular filters tesla says you want to replace them every two years but with a hepa filter like mine you'll want to replace it about every three years and in three years time i don't know if I would actually do this again myself because it was really really difficult. I'm like completely exhausted now because I've had to contort and bend in all these weird ways um, and it was pretty fussy to get those filters in myself because they are a little a tiny bit thicker than these OEM ones so it was a little bit more difficult to like jimmy them in their slot and all that. Um, but I'm sure if I, if you just brought your HEPA filter, uh, to Tesla, then they would gladly install it for you or mobile service could even do that. Um, but if you are doing this yourself, be very careful with the clips. Cause I did actually break one, but I didn't, I didn't just break the little white plastic part that clips into the body panel. I broke off the entire like little housing for the clip that's on the panel itself. I mean, thankfully um it's causing no problems the panel is perfectly snug still there's no loose part on it it it's still it's it looks and feels like it, nothing ever broke at all luckily for me but yeah if you are doing this yourself just be very very careful with those clips all right hi everyone um it's 3 a.m and i just realized i lost all of my outro so here i am again um in conclusion, for these HEPA filters, they are amazing. I smelt no foul odors, no exhaust from nasty diesel trucks or anything. Um, all I've been able to smell are my little air fresheners for my air vent. Um, definitely would highly, highly recommend these, especially in 2020. <laughs> um, as for ease of install, it was definitely quite difficult. And when they said, you know, stuff about needing patience and all that, that is 100% true. <laughs> it took a very long time, but uh, it was all worth it in the end, obviously, because these HEPA filters are fantastic. Um, I did get them from Abstract Ocean, which I 
definitely recommend if you don't know who they are. They make so many amazing Tesla accessories for all four models. Um, definitely check them out. Uh, yeah, of course, filters will be linked down below. Okay, so that does it for the HEPA filter installation and review. Um, I'm Jake from Northern Tesla. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please click that like button. It really helps me out. It helps YouTube and its algorithm push my videos out further to more people, to a wider audience. If you want to see more of my videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. It would mean the world to me. And finally, if you want to know whenever I upload, make sure you hit that bell because if you don't, then sometimes you'll miss my uploads. And lastly, if you're looking to buy a Tesla uh, or Tesla Solar, then make sure you use my referral link down below because if you do, you'll get 1,000 free miles slash 1,500 free kilometers of supercharging when you purchase a vehicle. Or if you purchase Solar, you'll get a $100 cash award. Yeah, I'm Jake from Northern Tesla and thank you so much for watching.